In this video, I'm going to show you things you can use around the house to make fun and expensive sensory plays activities for your child, like this bottle here. So the first item we're going to make are sensory bottles. The first one is going to include a water bottle, some beads, some beans, um, the ones I end up getting were some pinto beans and some black bean mixture. And the reason why I have this is because the beans actually sink. The beans I'm using here are actually wooden beads, so that's the reason why they float. And last, you're gonna need some water. Um, I also have a little funnel here because it just makes it easier to put the water into a bottle. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is put some beads into here. So since the beads and the beans are considered choking hazards, for safety precaution, what I'm gonna use is a hot glue gun and I'll put a little bit of hot glue around the edges. And then now that when I close the bottle, it'll be sealed in and the child won't be able to open it. And there you go. You have a little sensory bottle with things that actually float and things that sink. So next sensory bottle I'm making is going to be using oil and water. And the reason I'm using these two items is because they don't mix and it makes a fun experience for the child to look at. So for this one you're going to need water bottle, water, and oil. Okay, so you should be using a vegetable oil and then also have food coloring here so that the water is going to be blue just for a little bit more fun look. Alright let's go ahead and mix up the blue. All right, and as with the previous one, I do have a funnel so that the oil and water is just easier to get inside the bottle. So no particular order you put in the ingredients. And like the previous bottle, I will be using hot glue to seal off the cap so that my child doesn't accidentally open it. All right, as you can see, the oil and water does not mix. Um, you can do any ratio you want. Um, I just did about one third of it oil and then the rest water. to a sensory bottle, another item we can make is a sensory bag. And for this, what you're gonna need is a clear plastic bag, something to go in. What I have is beads, and then you're gonna need tape, uh, preferably masking tape. What I have here is gaffer's tape, which is similar. Um, the reason why I'm suggesting masking tape is because you can actually tape this to the floor or um, to a table or something, and you don't want it to leave any residue. And both gaffer's tape and masking tape don't leave residue. All right, and last, you can either put water in here or you can put hair gel. Yes, this is the same hair gel that people put in their hair. I have a small little tube here uh, above it. All right, so you might think, well, this is a really big bag for the amount of hair gel you have. But actually, it, you might want a little bit more room in here because remember, when you tape this onto the floor, all four corners are taped. So you're actually losing some space for the gel and the beads to move around. Um, you do want, like, you need space for the beads to move around or else it's not going to be as fun for the kid. Alright, to make this as simple enough, all you do is dump some beads or whatever items that you have that are colorful in here, in the bag. And then next, you will go ahead and get the gel in there. This part could be tricky since gel, as you can see, it's not as easy to get in there. Uh, you might need the help of something like a spoon. All right, next, after you get everything nice inside here, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and close it up. And then, wanna, what I do is I usually put an extra layer of tape right around here so that it's a little bit more secure just in case any of the liquid comes out. Especially if you're using something a little bit more like water, which is a little bit easier to spill. 
Uh, one little extra tip is actually before you seal it, make sure that all the extra air is out of the thing, out of the bag. All right, now I'm actually gonna take this to the floor so that my child can start playing with it. So for the next item, we're making a cardboard sensory board. This one's a little bit more complicated as you're gonna need a little bit more materials. Um, first off, the easy thing is you're gonna need a large piece of cardboard like I have here. Um, what I did was that I actually went ahead and drew the circles on there so I know where to cut. And what I'm gonna do after I cut out the circles is I'm gonna tape different things to it. Um, like this little felt fabric here, um, a small bubble wrap, a larger bubble wrap. Um, as well as a few other materials just so that uh, my son can kind of touch different materials. Alright, so this is what a finished board looks like. The front doesn't look too bad. However, if you look at the back, whew, lots of tape and everything. Another fun and inexpensive activity that you can do with your child is the laundry basket spider web. And this one, of course, you're gonna need is a laundry basket. Um, this one is a little bit taller version one. Um, the ones that are not so deep would be better, but unfortunately this is all I have, so it's gonna have to make do. Um, then you're gonna need some yarn or string, um, depending which one you have in stock. And then, of course, scissors. And last but not least, are some of your kids favorite toys. So basically the main idea of this activity is that you're gonna want to go ahead and loop the yarn through randomly um, to make something that looks like a spider web and then afterwards you would put a toy in there or a couple toys and your child would kind of have to reach in and grab it and of course um, due to the yarn being in the way the child's gonna have to actually work a little bit to uh, find a way to get the toy out. So then you're just gonna tie it off uh, however you want. I just do a little simple little bow so we can reuse this yarn. And as you can see, it looks like a little spider web. And now we just put some of their favorite toys through. and water. To make a cornstarch goop sensory activity for a child, it's fairly easy. All you have to do is mix two to one. So whatever you do for cornstarch, let's say you put two cups of cornstarch, you use one cup of water. And there you should be able to combine it and make a little goop material for your child to play with. Um, after that you can actually put some food coloring in it if you want a little bit of coloring. Um, but what we did instead was we put some blackberries in it for Alistair to play with and he was able to kind of sense a little bit of the colors in there for him. Let me know down below in the comment section which one of these sensory activities are your favorite. And if you know any additional ones that are very easy to make, let me know down below as well. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.